govern because I've got action before the IRS. Lord knows what would happen if they find out who I am protesting. Now, that's a hell of a state we're in, isn't it? And I've just been told by one of the members here that in Tennessee, that to come to a rally like this and wear a bandana, is a, they can arrest them. Which is kind of a surprise. I didn't know you could be arrested for First Amendment freedom of speech. Oh, okay. I am a registered libertarian, but I'm afraid the Libertarian Party left the libertarian movement. They've become them. <laughs> Second Amendment, obviously, and what they do in California is the violation. But I'm originally from New York City, so it's oh, which one is the worst. You know, you've got Bloomberg there, you've got uh, Governor Moonbeam in California <laughs> doing his crap. I'm, you know, if I weren't here today, I'm here visiting on vacation. I, I'd be out of raising hell out in California. And this, here I am today. This is my venue for the day. Um, well, Tennessee is one of the three of the Thank God, yeah. It is indeed. And as I recall, 6040 against Obama, which is another reason to come down for a minute. Yeah. But, um, a, little, a little over here to catch that sun. <laughs> there we go, brother. I got him on. Lock your sun out. So, uh, anyway, yeah, the, uh, uh, were, does anybody, do you guys know if any of the folks are here who were targeted by the uh, IRS or delayed by the IRS? I, don't know. I, I recall in the news there was somebody from Blount County who had, they did that business to him. I know that they're going after the news reporters, they're getting into their business. There's another violation of the First Amendment, but interestingly enough, Obama protests all that. He creates the problems, then he goes out and he campaigns against the very things that he has created. The Kingston, and, the Kingston. Uh, walks away well, scot-free. Oh, I like Kingston Tea Party. Uh, yeah. There's no doubt in my mind that uh, Obama authorized these IRS seen? violations. They I violate have you before the IRS. This guy think? just zeroed in on it. I was just, I was <laughs> just talking about a year ago. There were no liberal I've been going parties that were years. investigated by the IRS. Only conservatives. It's a wonder where did the Tea Party go in the 2010 election. We didn't realize that they were confiscated by the IRS. Yeah, who are in preventing them from collecting funds to organize themselves into uh, a viable political group to give a point of view. Right. What panel is this all about if we can't make our statements heard that all we want to hear is Obama is? This is a dangerous man. Uh, the sooner we tie his hands in 2014, uh, take over the Senate, keep the House, tie this guy's hands up so that he can't do any more damage to the country, and uh, begin to turn the country around in 2016. Hey, my bouncing Hillary, uh, whose daughter, I'm sure, should have been the next uh, ambassador to Libya. Benghazi, you know, since it doesn't matter, you might as well say It's outrageous what they It's outrageous what they get away with. On the, um, I was listening to, who's that? One of them, one of them Kennedy boys was uh, on a radio station the uh, just a little while ago. And he was going on and on about what was on the Nixon tapes, which... I don't know. He must be confusing Richard Nixon with a conservative or something. That's true. But, he, he was but, far from it. Yeah. But, um, but now, as far as I know, I, and I might be wrong, I mean, I'll, I'll just say as far as I know, even when Nixon went to the IRS and the FBI to go investigate his political enemies, they didn't actually carry out his wish. My understanding is no, they did not go to any extent the way the Obama administration has. Well, the IRS but, is going to run rampant Well, but now in the way things are now, President maybe didn't even have to tell him. He, they just went out and did it. Uh, I think that's entirely possible, but I... I think this is important enough right for Obama. Intimidating Look, his re-election was important enough for him to actually, maybe indirectly, but he put hands on it. This right. is an ordered thing. This did not happen routinely. What I would like to see is those 
uh, alleged uh, underlings in the IRS and, and in uh, the other governmental agencies that are being blamed for this, well, time to start the whistle blow. We know damn well you got orders. Now maybe they came to you indirectly, but somebody tell you this. If not, get out of government. All right. You're involving yourselves in the affairs and the rights of your own fellow citizens. So get out of government if this is your idea of what's right. Well, I used to work up there just a few years ago, and believe me, you don't have to tell those guys to be, even in the Pentagon, you don't have to tell them to be left, because they, they come that way. They come that way, but this is pretty heavy, and I want to think Obama's fingers are on it. Whether you'll ever find the fingerprints is debatable. It's, it's, the man is slicker than snot. Now it's the whole culture that's been just put through the whole thing. Well, it's, it's, it's a testament to the brilliance of Saul Alinsky. Oh. That what you have is the media that's been taken over, the entertainment industry, and the education establishments have been taken over. The three most influential areas of American society have been taken over by the left, uh, and it took them years to do it. Well, you know, Obama's the culmination of the Alinsky theory, and he taught a, he taught a motor voter course for Alinsky, and Hillary wrote her thesis uh, for her master's degree about Alinsky. Well, you know, Alinsky wasn't original on that. He was completely ripping off a guy named Parsons from Chicago. Well, he was also was ripping was off the mob well, in Chicago because he hung around yeah, with that to find out how they handled the, 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 their um, gathering of power. You remember the Haymarket terrorist incident that that uh, that was a uh, dynamite-filled iron bomb that was thrown into a crowd uh, for a rally, supposedly for uh, working people, and uh, and. One of the guys around that, one of the publishers around that time was named Parsons, and pretty much everything in Saul Alinsky's stuff is pretty much lifted straight from him. Oh, and that, very well that was, he, he certainly condensed it into a nice little book that he dedicated to Lucifer. Right. And that was, uh, that was in the, uh, that was around the time the meat packers were getting organized and, uh, and all that, all that stuff. And, uh, and then the, Anarchist socialists, uh, they uh, decided to kick off everything with an explosion and killed a bunch of people. And then the police turned around and shot each other and shot some more people after the bomb went off. Which you see that same marksmanship in New York and DC and Alexandria, Virginia. Yeah. yeah. Well, if you have anything else, go ahead and let me know. Or... I'll do it. I'll send it to Claire. <laughs> All right. Appreciate it. All right, thanks.